Hello everyone, it's Bianca Cordero, Registered Dietitian and Sports Nutritionist from Mindset First. Today I'm going to be talking to you about calories. So calories are just a unit of measurement used to quantify how much energy we get from foods. Now some people will use calories as a way to determine how fattening or how unhealthy or healthy food is uh, or they'll even count calories but this is actually quite flawed logic so there are healthier foods that have lots of calories in them and there are unhealthy foods that have very little calories in them and again I'm using the terms healthy and unhealthy healthy very loosely because there's no one healthy or unhealthy food. It's all about moderation. So, one gram of protein contains four calories. And this is also the same for carbohydrates. So carbohydrates, for one gram, there's four calories. For fat, it is nine calories per one gram. So that's where that whole idea of uh, fattening came from. So um, foods that are higher in fat will typically have more calories because simply you get more calories from one gram of fat than you would from one gram of carbs or protein. Now a fun fact is that actually in one gram of alcohol there are seven calories. So it's actually quite calorically dense as well. So when you take this logic and you apply it to the foods that we eat, um, you would think, okay, so if I want to have low calorie foods to say lose weight, then that means that I should cut out maybe high fat foods. So this is actually, again, flawed logic because having higher fat foods are actually going to make you feel full for longer. So it's just really about uh, what we want out of the foods that we're eating. Uh, and again, you can have really nutritionally dense foods that are high calorie as well. So that would be like your nuts and your seeds, they have lots of minerals in them that we need and they have other things like protein in them that we need, amino acids. And these are the small building blocks of protein that our body needs. And although they're high calorie because they have quite a bit of fat in them, they are beneficial to our body. And you could take it the other way around. There are low calorie foods that don't have many nutrients in them. So think of maybe like rice cakes or uh, for example crackers. You can have a very low calorie cracker but the chances of having lots of minerals and lots of vitamins in them is quite slim. Um, but then again we could say there are low calorie foods that have quite a lot of nutrients in them and a lot of times those are things like veggies and those nutrients that um, might even make us feel full for longer so like fiber is something that makes us feel full for a bit longer than say a simple carb and I talked a little bit about this in last video that carbohydrates, there are many different types, right? And so you can't really just look at the calories and determine how healthy a food is for yourself based off of that. Uh, so just keep in mind that you should take calories as they are meant to be taken. They are a unit of measurement. So of course, Calories, if you are doing stuff like calorie counting or seeing how many calories you're eating in a day, 
that can be helpful to see if you're eating large amounts of calories in a day. But we have to look at, of course, the nutritional value of all of the foods that we eat in a day. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that wasn't too confusing, but if you have any questions, please leave them down below. And as always, stay safe. Bye-bye.